to uh, the CD cases, and it looks like our person on the, the docket for this evening is case number C, I mean CE 2015-01, Mike Gunn, staff, if you will, present. Sir, thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a conditional use permit request by Mike Gunn uh, for property located at 801 Penny Place. As you see on the map on the screen in the packets, property is currently zoned to R6. It is a vacant lot. Uh, the applicant is proposing to place a mobile home on this lot. As you can uh, recall from previous similar requests, uh, freestanding mobile homes in the city of Valdosta are allowed to R6 properties with the conditional use approval um, and subject to certain standards. There's a whole listing of those. Those are included in your packet. Um, they have to be double wise, which is the main consideration, but that also includes a pitched roof and some other features there to make the home a little more attractive. Um, on this particular lot, which is about 8,500 square feet, it is a corner lot. Fitting um, a double wide on here is a little bit of a tight fit, but actually does meet the setback requirements with just a few feet to spare. Um, conference plan wise, this is established residential, uh, which is a residential area. And of course, R6 is the zoning. There's no proposed change to the zoning. This is simply a special approval to allow a different housing type. Um, aerial, you see the rooftops of the buildings to the north northeast. Those are all duplexes, um, sort of along an R6 cul de sac <coughs> subdivision. And there's mostly all housing around here that you'd like to see an aerial at that uh, sort of an interesting intersection of Old Statenville, um, and Lake Park Road, and Alma Avenue. There's a little bit of commercial uses there, not for many of those are currently vacant. Um, properties, here's a subdivision um, flat of the property. You see, it's just one of multiple lots. Here is the site sketch that the applicant has submitted. <coughs> Interestingly, we're not sure what to make of it, but it almost looks like this is a proposed duplex. In other words, a mobile home that would be split into two units. Um, first and foremost, in R6 zoning, uh, duplexes are allowed. However, you must have at least 9,000 square feet in lot area. And the survey plan for this property indicates less than that, which means the duplex is simply not allowed whether that is a site built dwelling or a manufacturing dwelling, it does not matter. Uh, so this, if approved, would have to be one unit double wide mobile home being standards, unless the variance were obtained. Photographs, we took of the subject property. Um, the vacant lot, this is from Penny Place looking south. You see some of it is in shade, and that's because, like we talked about in the work session, there's a very large live oak tree. If we were to move to the west, over to the other side of Old State Mall Road, looking due east across another lot toward this. You see the large oak tree, and up close, you see it is indeed a, uh, some of us would call a champion oak. Our city arbors, who is here in attendance this evening for another item on the agenda, mentioned to me he thinks this actually may be the second largest live oak in Valdosta. Um, the drip area of this tree takes up about one third or a little bit more of the lot, uh, which is a little bit of concern of anything. Um, it gets built here. We have to meet some protection standards for the tree. Um, but in my own eyeballing of the site sketch and how setbacks would come into play, I do believe that dwelling of some kind could be sited on this lot without too much um, interference or concern from the tree branches. Um, but it needs a careful tune. Um, the oak tree itself is on the property to the east, uh, right at the corner, but because it overhangs city right of way, it is protected as a specimen tree under the city's development regulations. So you have to pay attention to site planning in this case. Um, adjacent properties, here's a sample of one of the duplexes. There's some other housing in the area. And to sum it all up, uh, commissioners, there's really no mobile homes anywhere near here. The closest one that staff could find after searching through more than 70 houses, we found one four blocks away, um, several streets away, one of a kind. Um, so this is very much a site-built single-family development pattern. And traditionally, such requests um, we do not support mobile homes introducing a different housing type into a well-established pattern. Um, you see some of the other dwellings. Here's the actual mobile home that the applicant is wanting to sit on the property. Um, it has been in storage on a vacant lot on the north end of town for at least eight years. It is currently divided into its two halves. Um, and as you can see, it's been sitting exposed to the elements. Any mobile home that would be sited on the subject property would have to be in, or pass inspection as a dwelling unit. 
As you can see, this dwelling has some severe issues. Um, staff is doubtful that it would pass inspection. Um, but regardless, the approval is not specifically for this um, building, but would be for a mobile home in general. Um, but some other pictures of the building are here. As you can see, the elements have gotten to it. And it would need an awful lot of work to bring it up to the code as it was. So therefore, based on the patterns of the surrounding area, being the site built residential, um, its proximity to a busy intersection and high visibility, um, staff has found this inconsistent with our conditional use criteria and our property plan, and we are recommending it or not. Thank you. Thank you. The presentation commissioners, any questions for staff? Questions for staff? None being. If there is anyone in the audience wishing to speak in favor of this, of this request, please come forward at this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request? Anyone wishing to speak in opposition of this request, please come forward. Okay. In either case, uh, commissioners, any discussion amongst ourselves before I call for a motion? Now me, commissioners, if I could have a motion on this request, we'll move forward. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Um, thanks for looking at everything the staff presented. I personally feel that the uh, proposal would be, uh, would adversely uh, influence the existing conditions in the neighborhood. And also, it is, uh, it is out of character for the neighborhood. Make a motion that we recommend it. So we have a motion from Commissioner Lewis. Do we have a second? Okay, we have a second from Commissioner Hall. All in favor of this motion, please signify by raising your right hand. And it is also unanimous. Ms. Carmella, 8 0. Thank you very much. Matt, we will turn it right back over to you. We have